Hi everybody, welcome to the adult and black belt class for this week. Before we get started, make sure you are in your full uniform, including your gloves. So if you don't have them, take a second, pause the video to get that together. Second, when you're done um, taking class today, the videos you're gonna send to your online instructor. Two things, one, our new self-defense, which this week is gonna be driving elbows. And your second video, if you still need to test on kata, either a short one, Kamikaze Ichi or Senior Black Belt Short 3 we're going to finish today, um, you're going to send that video to test. Remember, we have belt testing coming up the week of May 11th, so only two weeks from now, so we need to make sure we have kata testing done first. Okay, let's bow them together. Ready, natural stance, and attention! Left leg steps out, make a fist, cover it, feet together, and bow. Hands behind your back, relax stance. Repeat after me, say, to build true confidence, I must have knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. Winners never quit, quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. Okay, team, let's get warmed up. We're gonna work on just some stances and some striking today. So, first thing you're gonna do is spread your feet apart, bend your knees, get into a horse stance. And what I want you to check is your posture. So back is straight, your knees are pointed out away from each other. So you should feel like pressure, like almost inside your thighs, pushing your legs away. Hands are gonna be chambered. Take your right hand, put it straight out for a punch. When I say go, we're just gonna switch, asa, and punch with the other hand. So start right hand out, and go. Switch to the other side, good. Ready, two, three, four, five. Good, we're gonna do five more. Sink a little bit lower in your stance. Ready, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, come up, shake out those legs a little bit. We're gonna do those same punches again. This time though, we're gonna work on really generating some more power and speed. And what I want you to think about is as you're striking, you wanna be relaxed with your arm until impact, right? If you are, are really tight and really tense and try to punch, you can do it with me to tense up those muscles and then try to strike. You can feel how slow you are. At the same time, if you're striking either a target or you gotta defend yourself, you also can't be like a wet noodle either, right? So the idea is you're really relaxed until you make contact. So that's what we're gonna work on now. So spread those feet apart, get low, start with your right hand out, and then think nice and relaxed until you strike at the end. I'll count them out for us. And one, two, three. If you're doing a good job, you should hear your uniform make a sound for each strike. Ready, four, five, six. Get a little bit lower. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, come up, shake it out. Nice, we're gonna go one more round. So the next thing we're gonna think about is as my one hand is striking, my other hand, it's not just chambering, but I'm actively pulling it back, right? Almost imagine someone's behind you, and that chamber is really an elbow strike behind you, right? So it doesn't just float back, you pull it back each time. Okay, last round of punches. Spread those feet apart. Get low, put out your right hand. So remember, you're thinking loose, tight at impact, and at the same time, the other one pulls back hard. Ready, one. Yep, pull back with some energy. Ready, two, three, four. Good, take a second, check your stance. Make sure you're low, knees are pointing away from each other. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, pull that other chamber hand back hard. Nine, and get a little bit lower. Ten, good, come up, shake it out. Wonderful, guys, we're gonna be working on some pressing kicks today, so let's loosen those hips up. All you're gonna do is alternate left and right, just inside circles. So just lift up your name. We'll just go for 30 seconds. Try to lift it up a little bit higher each time. And you're just making a circle inside your body. Keep your hands up, the elbows tucked. Good, 10 more seconds, then we're gonna switch to outside circles. We're gonna be working on some outside pressing kicks today. Good, I right, so same thing, alternate left and right. Now you're going to the outside, so up and around. Yep, and then the other leg. And you don't even have to kick. Keep your knee in a good chamber position and just focus on circling those hips. Good, do five or six more. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Awesome. Okay, let's keep working on that crescent kick. So, right leg back, hands up, lay up. When I say go, we're going to start easy. Just back leg, asa. So, just like you practiced a minute ago, your knee comes up first, and you're striking to the inside of your body. We'll do seven quick ones. And one. And then reset. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. And switch your feet. Oh, yeah. Same thing. Left leg inside circle. Ready? One. And then right back. Two. Three. Four. Good, switch your feet, other side. Okay, we're gonna go one more round. You're gonna go for three circles this time. So you're gonna try to keep that leg up. Really good way to practice your balance, especially adults taking class today. You know, balance and flexibility as we get older only becomes more important. So you're gonna do three circles. One, two, three, and then back. Okay, start working it. One, two, whoa, three, and back. Two, three, on your own. If you're still working on two, keep working on two for this set. Okay, switch your feet, get to your other side. So left leg, three inside crescent kicks, three inside circles, go for it. Three, and right back, try to keep your hands steady. Reset.
reset each time, right? Right leg back, wrap around, break, strike, up, stop back up, get a couple more times in, up, stop back up, two more everybody. Hands and feet are together. Right hand. Ready. Action kata. Short one. 
The left leg steps out. Your left leg is back, right inward block. Soup. Make sure your knees are bent. You sink low, right? Step back, block, up. My right leg steps up to where the number three or the number two would be on a clock. I step up, same hand, outward block, soup. Step back, other hand, asa. From here, right leg, a little transition to get to the other direction. Rising block, soup. Step back with your left, other hand, rising block, asa. Okay, last two strikes. I'm stepping up with my left leg, same hand, downward block. Step back with your other leg. Other hand, downward block. Swing around, fist cover, feet together, and bow. So, my weight to green belt. You're gonna take the next two minutes to work on short one. My advanced belt, grab your commas, and we'll come back together for comma comma. Okay, advanced belt. So, commas in your left hand. Hands and feet together. Team, we're only going to go through this once. Ready? Bow. Say, Kamakata Ichi. Left hand up. Here. Open. Circle down. Right hand, right leg. Asa. Soup. Asa. You want to check, especially if you're testing today. Knees are bent. Kamas need to point in the same direction. Block and strike. Asa. You should be a little bit lower now. I lift up my leg. Soup. Get your lowest. Asa. We turn. We're facing the other direction now, right? I rise and block. I step up with my left. One. Upside down. Two. Little shuffle back as my commas come upright again. Then step with your right. Double strike. Flip them upside down. Under the arms. Hug yourself. Slice through. Right side up. Double strike again. From here, my left leg comes back. I open. I come down. Everything together and back. So, advanced belt, you're going to go take the next minute or so to work on Kamakata Ichi. My white through green belt, if you're good with short one, you should start working on your self defense, right? So, we know nine self defense now for belt testing. So, go back to your nine, start reviewing them one at a time. If you have someone with you, you know, have them attack you safely. Okay, senior black belts. Short three. Guys, I'm going to go through the beginning section pretty quick because I think you know it already. And then really just focus on the last part for today. So, then start. Make sure you kind of orient yourself in your room where the number 12 is, right? So, number 12 would be if I was standing in a clock right in front, right? So, you can follow along right with me. Yeah, so this is the first time you switch directions, right? I'm going towards the number three, and then I step up to 12. Whoa, don't lose your glasses as you're doing it. Team, once you get to here, your counter grab. This is one of the mistakes I've seen people make in some of our videos. Your left leg needs to step all the way to the number six, right? So my belly ends up the other direction. I roll over. Boom. We step up. Cranes. Middle knuckles. Back knuckles. Starts. Okay, now this entire next section, you need to imagine that you're on a balance beam that connects the number 11 to the number 4, right? You need to stay on that balance beam. So I step up with my left to the number 11, hammer fist, grab, palm, my arms behind my back. I step back to the number 4, elbow, rake, wrap around, break. Remember, you're staying on that balance beam. Right leg back to the four. Break. Now I go back the way I just came. Right leg knees land forward. Left leg steps up. Figure eight. That left knee goes back the way you came, towards the three or towards the four. Here, back we found it. Okay. This is where we stopped like three weeks ago now. We're going to go pinch, pinch, stomp, elbow scoop. I land in front of me. I land on the 12th. Step, step, uppercut. Remember, when you uppercut, you're going to catch your uppercut, you're going to catch your bicep in your left hand. Okay, this was the part from last week. My right leg, right hand, inward block front kick, big circle, elbow down, elbow up, palm, and rake. So, when I say reset, this is the position 
you're gonna get back to. Okay, next section. I'm gonna do it facing this way once, just so you can see it, but then we'll do it together as it should be in the cotton, right? So I just finished here. One, two, three. My right leg steps back. My left hand is gonna crane. Remember a crane? Almost like a, uh, a bird, like that. You're gonna flip it in the back, and you're gonna hit with the back of your hand. I crane, and then this is just like headlock head. I'm gonna reach back, I pull back the hair, half fist to the throat. And guys, that's the end. You're gonna come fist cover, and then the same bow we did in the beginning. So, if we're doing it together on a kata, we just finish that strike. My right leg steps back, my left hand is gonna crane. Imagine you're striking, like right to the temple, right to the face. From there, you grab the top of the hair, you pull it back, Le uh, your right hand, that's a regular fist, half fist, just cut it in half, half fist to the throat. Left leg comes back, fist cover, hands at your side, and then just like we started. Good, so let's reset one more time. So go back to, we just went one, two, three, four. Right leg steps back, left hand does that crane strike, right? So you're striking right to the temple. Left hand, grab the hair, pull it back, Right hand, half fist, fist cover, and then same as the beginning. Good, last time. Ready, reset to there. Back with your right leg. Crane left, grab left, right half fist. Last three moves. And then fist cover, and you're done. So senior black belt, starting this week, either if you take the live class, you can test during regular classes, or you can send a uh, video to your online instructor of short grade to test that way. Okay, advanced bells, put your palms down. Everybody take a knee. So before we start working out in a second, lesson of the week this week. A really cool way just to kind of think about like the direction you're going. And the idea is plus, minus, and equals. And here's what that means. So the plus is having somebody in your life not only that you can ask for advice, but you actively use for advice, right? Like somebody that is more successful than you, however you measure success, right? It might be a professional setting, might be somebody you look up to as a parent or a coach or whoever, but somebody that's like a plus person in your life, right? Like who can I go to and who do I go to when I need help, I have a question, I need to vent, you know, whatever that is for you, right? So that's the, that's the first thing to think about. Okay, who's my plus person? Second thing is the minus person. The minus is someone that you're helping, right? And you're actively helping. Who that is for you, right? So, so kind of two things to think about. Okay, who's my plus? And then who's my minus? Like, who do I go out of my way? Who, like, am I the mentor for, right? And then last one, and just as important, is equals. Who do I consider myself as an equal that I compete against, that, you know, helps push me to get stronger, to get better, whether it's, you know, when we're training in martial arts, whether it's, you know, at school, you know, maybe in math class, whatever that is for you, okay, who's like that, you know, that competitor that pushes me to get better? So that's your challenge this week, to kind of do almost like a friend or family inventory and making sure you have someone in each of those buckets, right? Who's your plus person? Who are you going to? Who do you have like on speed dial when you need help with something, right? And making sure you use that person. We all need mentors, whether it's your martial arts instructor, a parent, you, you know, everybody needs that mentor. Who's your minus person? Like who are you actively helping each week? Who are you the mentor for, right? Who are you the plus person for? And then the equals, who's that person? That you know on the same level as you, but maybe they're you. Maybe they're just like better at it, right? Or a little bit faster if it's martial arts, or, you know, whatever. That's constantly pushing you to get better, to get stronger, to work harder the whole time. Okay, so team, we're gonna start working out. What you need to do? Make sure you have your gloves on, and then right where you are, you're gonna start doing some jumping jacks. Guys, really lucky today, Mr. M and Mr. C. They're gonna be helping us with our workout. So we're gonna start jumping jacking. Mr. M, Mr. C, they're all yours. Awesome, great job, sir. All right, team. So. We're gonna do a little bit of one minute challenges, could be like every minute on the minute, which means you're gonna go for 20 reps of one of these exercises or moves or combinations. You need to do it 20 times in less than a minute. Now, if you get done it in less than a minute, you get the time to just do jumping jacks and take a breather. If you're not done, right, we're just gonna go right into that next round. So we're gonna start with jab, cross, uppercut, inside pressing kick. So Mr. C, hands are up. Show everyone what that looks like. Soup, soup. Soup, 
Awesome. Excellent. So that's your combination. We're going to go for one minute. Let me get a minute on the clock here, there, team. Make sure you're bouncing on your feet to get that heart rate start rising up to what you need. One minute, you have to get 20 reps. You can switch your feet halfway if you'd like. We're going to start in three, two, one, go. Soup, soup, soup. Five, six, 
Seven. Thirty seconds. Eight. Nine. Ten. And back up. Start doing jumping jacks to keep that heart rate up. But keep that control in your breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. You've got 20 seconds. Next and final round is going to be Transformers. In a couple seconds, Mr. Shield show us what those look like. If you're trying to catch up, just keep yourself going at your best pace. Time. Next round is going to be those Transformers. Push-up is not needed, but definitely something you can add for a challenge. So Mr. C, show us what a Transformer looks like there, sir. Awesome. Whew, just like that. If you're on hard floor, then you put a pillow underneath you, so that way you're not putting it down on the hard floors. All right, we're going to go for one minute, 20 of them. Ready and begin. One. Add that push-up. Nice two. challenge, Mr. C. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirty seconds, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Do it at home there. 15. Keep pushing yourself. 16. You gotta pause to shake it out. Get 17. Right back to it. 18. 19. 20. Nice. Jumping jack. Shake out those arms. Take a couple deep breaths. Get a couple more seconds. Put your gloves back on if you took them off there, team. So we're gonna repeat that process all over again there, team. We're gonna go back to jab, cross, uppercut, inside press and kick. Remember, switch legs anytime you want. You're gonna go for 20 sec. I'm oh, sorry. You go for 20 reps for one minute. Ready and go! Soup, soup, soup. Awesome. Soup, soup, soup. Keep up the power. Awesome. Just like Mr. C over here, team. Awesome. Soup, soup, soup. Soup, us, 
Two. Us. Two. Us. 20 seconds. Us. Two. Us. Two. Us. Two. Us. 10 seconds to breathe there, team, as you're doing your jumping jacks. At a nice slow pace, in through those, out your mouth. We've got five seconds. We're going to go right into side crunches. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ease those abs and feel your obliques. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Excellent. All right, you've got about 20 seconds to breathe there. If you're still catching up, remember, just keep moving, right? That's all you need to do is keep on moving. You have about 15 seconds until we move on. The next thing is going to be Transformers, which is going to end our second round. You've got five seconds. If you're taking your gloves off, take them off. Remember, have that pillow underneath if you need it. One minute, 20 of them, go. One. Nice two, speed, Mr. C. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ooh, team, try to keep up, Mr. C. He's running over here. Shake it out if you need to, and then right back down. 11, 30 seconds, 12, 13, 14, 15, almost there, sure you can do it, you can do it, 16, 17, 18, 19, nice, shake those arms out, that's awesome, Dean, that wraps up round two. We're going to go for round three. This is going to be our last round and our best round, right? This is where you really want to push yourself to be your very best, right? All right, ready? We're going to go into those combinations of jab, cross, uppercut, inside pressing kick. All right, Mr. C, take a deep breath in through your nose. Nice, bouncing on his feet. He's ready to go. And one minute on the clock. Begin. Remember to control that breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. 
We are about the halfway point to finishing our third round. Five more seconds going into inside outside pressing kicks. Ready, three, two, one, begin! Soup, us, 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 soup, us. Every kick as strong as you can there, team. Soup, us, soup, us, soup, us, soup. Us. 30 seconds. Soup. Us. 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 Five to receive. Finish strong. Good work, sir. Excellent. 10 seconds to breathe. Last two rounds there, team. You can do it. You got about five seconds to get down inside front position, so you're ready. If you're finishing up, keep going. We're starting our next round in three, two, one, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze seven, those core muscles, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, thirty seconds, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. So if you're done, shake it out a little bit, and then back to those jumping jacks as you're breathing. We only have one more round of this workout left, our team, for our transformers. You got ten seconds to. Kind of control that breathing a little bit. Get into that, that mode there, team, where you're going to push yourself as hard as you can for this last round. We're going to start it in three seconds, so make your way to the ground. Take your gloves up if you need to. Remember, team, this is all about pushing yourself to be your very best. All right, ready. Last round, and begin. One. Two. Three. Super fast, Mr. C, you are rocking it. Keep it up, sir. Four. Five. Six. You got it, sir. Keep it going. You can do it. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Shake it out. And 30 seconds left. One. Two. Three. Strong Mr. your seat, our team, you can do Four. it. Four. Five. Shake it out if you need to. You got 15 seconds. You got it, Mr. C, you can do it. One. Two. Three. Finish strong, two more. Four. Last one. Five. Woo! Team, shake those arms out, give yourself a hand and over for finishing a great workout. All right, make sure if you have a partner or anybody, kind of air high five them or high five them if you'd like to. And up next is going to be Sensei Michael. Thank you, sir. Great job, guys. Team, let's stretch out before we bow out. Everyone, take your arms, circle forward. Should feel good after all those combos, all those push ups today. Circle back. Take one arm, reach across. Keep your shoulder down, turn your head the opposite way. As we're stretching, a couple reminders. Remember, belt testing is only two weeks away. You, what you need to do as soon as you're finished class, as soon as you bow out, is send a video to your online instructor. You're gonna send this week's self-defense, which is driving elbows. Everyone switch other side. And only if you still need to test, a video of either a short one, kamikata, or senior black belts, if you're ready, short three to test for your last strike. Take your other arm, reach behind your back. Remember we talked about good posture in our warm up today. Try to keep really good posture. Line up your fingers if you can with your spine and pull your elbow across. Remember the month of May is always free for moms to train in class with us. 
So if you're friends with the mom, if your mom doesn't train yet, encourage them to get involved. I think now more than ever, all of us taking some time each week to really take care of ourselves is always important, but probably extra so now. Reach to the other side. So if you have a mom you want to invite, reach out and then just reach out to your instructor and let them know. Okay, let's bail out. Now your stance. Ready, attention! Left leg steps out, bend your knees, make a fist, make a cover, feet together, and bow. Have a great day.